So hello, hello, welcome back. We are trying all of my current sunscreens that I'm using at the moment and just kind of giving you the lowdown of what I like, what I'm not loving that much. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So first we have the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Oil-Free Lotion Sunscreen. It's a weightless face foundation. It's supposed to feel as if it's barely on. And this has 30 SPF, 12 hour moisturization, UVA and UVB protection, and it supposedly doesn't clog your pores. Um, I got this one from Target a little while back. And I'm gonna just try each of these on so you can see like how it looks on the face. So it comes from a pump. So they say when you put on sunscreen, you should actually be putting on like way more than we think we should be putting on. So I always try to put more than less. But this one is more, I feel like this one's the most like traditional like sunscreen in the sense that it smells like you're going to the beach. It um definitely smells like sunscreen. It smells a little bit more, a little bit more sweet and like vanilla-y than traditional sunscreen and I feel like this gives a very medium dewiness so it's not super dewy but it's not matte at all so I think this one's best for like actually going to the pool and all of that things because I feel like the other ones that I'm gonna show are not as water resistant. Yeah. But definitely love this one. I've used it under makeup and it works perfectly too. So it's just great for like on the go when you're actually gonna go in the water and like maybe more like activity driven. I'm gonna wipe my face with a baby wipe and we're gonna go on to the next one. So the next one is going to be the Kylie Skin Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Face Sunscreen. And this one is honestly, I think, my favorite out of the three. And this one is very like matte and it's very clear. So I think it's great under makeup. It feels very silicone-y, like very, like it feels your pores and would be very matte it's just extremely smooth the kylie skin one definitely feels more like a makeup primer than a sunscreen because it's just so softening and smoothing this is my favorite the kylie skin spf so yeah let's see the next one <laughs> all right now we're getting into cult favorites this one is the super goop glow screen and this has spf 40 and is a broad spectrum sunscreen and it's supposed to be a lightweight pearlescent formula that hydrates the skin while acting as a luminous makeup gripping primer. I hate to say that I wasn't in love with it the first time I tried it, just because it has such a cult following. I feel like people are like freaking obsessed with Supergoop. Um, it's just really, really dewy and not in a good way. I feel as if the Hawaiian Tropic uh, sunscreen gives a better, like, hydrated look. Um, let's zoom in and I will show you what it looks like. And I also thought it would have a bit of a tint to it because it does look tinted, but she is not very tinted, does not really hide anything. I mean, I think I've grown to like this the more I've used it in the past couple weeks. I want to love this product because I listened to their story on how I built this, uh, which is an NPR podcast, and I thought their mission was just on point. They were really trying to do preventative 
skincare um, from Skin Cancer and get young kids started on that in elementary school and get sunscreen in every school they could. Um, and I love that, that's awesome because my mom actually um, had a variation of skin cancer within the last few years. So sunscreen is very, very important, but I just feel like it highlights the worst parts of my skin. I mean, I guess it's not terrible. I feel like the first time I used it, it was just like very unflattering. But once you get it in the sun, like let me show you. Just me? I don't know. I feel like it's not the most flattering. So these are the three sunscreens that I'm currently rotating right now. Really obsessed with the price point of the Hawaiian Tropic. This was less than $20, I think. And I love what Kylie Skin is formula is like, but this one's like $30, I think. So I'm kind of looking for something in the price range of drugstore, but in the quality of Kylie Skin. So that's my current sunscreen setup. And follow me on Instagram at Nicole Bloop Bloop. And yes, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.